Hi, so Sosa has decided that it's going to be a good idea to sell introductory passengers a souvenir video of their flight. We're going to be recording the flight with a GoPro camera uh, placed in the nose of the, uh, the aircraft on the instrument panel. We've got some GoPro mounts that we're going to be putting onto the aircraft and uh, we're going to record the flights. After the flight is done, either email them the link to download it themselves or we'll upload it onto YouTube, whichever the passenger prefers. And we're going to be charging about $40 for that. Not about $40, but exactly $40. It's, of course, the introductory pilot's responsibility to collect that money and do the same thing as they do with the, uh, the regular introductory fees. This video is a quick introduction on how you, the introductory pilot, can turn on the cameras, find the cameras, and set yourself up at the start of the day. So here we go. We're going to go and look at where the cameras are kept where they're being charged overnight, and we'll detach them from that, take them over, and set them up in the aircraft. We've got the cameras installed in this box down here, and charging on a USB power supply down here. So at the start of the day, the first thing I'm gonna do is unplug them from charge, grab the box with the GoPro camera, and use this Velcro strap this Velcro strap is going to secure the cable to the side of the box so it's not flapping around on our way to the flight line. So there we go. The key is glued into the keyhole of the box. It's just used to open and close the box. Don't worry about trying to take the key out. It's permanently glued in. So here we go, off to the flight line. So we've arrived in the hangar and we've got the box that we brought from the clubhouse. Again, the key is glued in, so don't worry about taking the key out. Simply unlock the box. And inside the box, we have two batteries. In addition to the battery that's in the camera, we also have a mount here and a mount that's holding the GoPro inside of the box. The mount that's holding the GoPro inside of the box is used for some of our aircraft and the other mount is a right angle, and that's used for other aircraft. So we're gonna start by taking the camera out of the box. We do that by pinching underneath here to unlock it. Then it slides up and comes out. The pinching that we did were these two arms here that I pinched together to slide out of the mount that's in the bottom of the box. To place it back in the box, I would simply slide it back in, and it's back in, and to remove, I pinch to unlock, and slide it up and out. This mount, you can recognize this mount for the Puhach, because it has the curve. The other mount has a bolt halfway up to give it a 90 degree turn. This one we will not be using with the Puhach, so I'll set it back in the box and keep it secure. Now I've got the camera to install in the Puhach. And of course, remove the lens cap before filming. It just pops right off and it is stored in the box. To loosen the mount, we unscrew this a little bit now the camera goes up and down inside of the mount. And to tighten it, I'll screw it back in. We have the mount on the front instrument panel of the Puhach. And I install it with the lens facing the passenger. And it slides into place. To unlock it, I again pinch on those two arms and slide it out. So to slide it in, I put it in the rails and it snaps forward into place. Next, I tilt the camera so that it's vertical while the aircraft's on the ground, and I tighten up the knob. So now the, uh, the camera is installed, and we can see that we have lots of clearance when opening and closing the canopy. So now I will move the camera to the rear position in case you're flying with the passenger in the back seat. In the back seat of the Puhach, 
you'll see that the mount is facing the rear of the aircraft on top of the rear instrument panel. So again, I simply slide it into place and you can hear it click as it locks into place. And then I can tilt the camera so that it's vertical with the aircraft on the ground. So we've got the camera installed in the aircraft and it's pointing at our intro passenger and the screen on the GoPro is off. I'm going to turn on the GoPro by pressing the power button on the front of the GoPro for one second. And those three beeps and flashes have confirmed that the camera is on and is ready. Down in the bottom, you'll see the battery indicator. If the battery is not at least 50%, then the GoPro might not last for the entire flight. We have extra batteries in the box. Change the battery. You'll see how to change the battery elsewhere. Also, you'll be able to confirm that there's a video camera in the top left, so it's in video recording mode. You'll also see that it's in 720p mode. And I'm ready to start recording. So I press the start recording button on top of the GoPro. And I get the beep and it starts counting up. So you'll see on the screen that it has now been recording for about five to 10 seconds and it's still counting up. Once you've confirmed that it is counting up and the red light is flashing, it's ready to go. Don't start the recording until you are ready to strap in and start going because we don't want to waste any battery of the camera and we don't want to create a lot of extra data on the SD cards. Once it is recording, then you get in, do your checklists at this point. Don't do your checklists before starting the camera. Do your walk around and your checks before strapping in after the camera's already running. You don't want the camera to distract you from being the pilot in command. Once you've landed, and it's time to stop the recording. First, we're going to confirm that it is still recording. And you can see that it's still recording because of the flashing light and the numbers are counting up. If it's not still recording at the end of the flight, then you have to return the money to the intro passenger because we're probably not going to be able to get a video out of that flight. To stop it, I'm just going to press the, the stop button on the top and the three beeps that it gave you confirmed that it has saved the file. Now we can power off the camera by holding in the power button down here again. And I held the button for three seconds to power off the camera. It confirmed that it was powering off with the five beeps. So we've now saved the file. It's stored on the camera. We can remove the camera from the mount, put it safely back in the box. Additionally, after having your flight with the passenger, or even before having the flight with the passenger, it's important to figure out who they are and what they want done with the video file once we've edited it. Here we have the log sheet where you'll write down the date of the flight, the time of the flight, and the flight number that was written on your white ticket or on your pink ticket the first and last name of the passenger, their email address, and here is where you must print very, very legibly. A lot of us have a very hard time reading your handwriting, so be very careful with your handwriting here. The phone number of the passenger and whether they want the video posted onto YouTube. If you answer no to this question, then we will email them a link to download the video file themselves if they say yes, we will also put it on Sosa's YouTube channel so that uh, any of our other visitors can look at it. And then we'll just get the initials of, uh, of the passenger there to confirm who they are and that all of their information is correct. This then folds up and is also stored in the lid of the box. So now we're going to show you how to mount it in the 505. 505 has a slightly different mounting method from the other aircraft, and it has a different mount inside of the box. 
This is the mount that is used for the 505. So I will remove the camera from the box by pinching and sliding. And I pull out the 505 mount. And I'm going to change which mount is used. I unscrew the long bolt and the camera slides out of the mount. Holding the, the bolt and the camera, I can now put this mount back in the box. Leaving us with the 505 mount and the bolt and the camera. Slide the camera two forks in and secure with the bolt. Now that this, the camera has been attached, I can mount it in the 505. Similar to the other mounts, it simply slides into place and locks into place. And I can rotate it about this axis after unscrewing the bottom bolt. And this bolt will tighten it so that it's facing straight back. Pull off the lens cover. Put the lens cover back in the box. So here the camera is mounted in the front of the 505. To take it out of the front, again I'm going to pinch the two forks at the top and slide it down out of the mount. To install it in the rear, very similar. Here is the mount, I slide it in, I loosen the bolt, get it vertical, and tighten the bolt again, and she's mounted in the back. Now I take it out of the back, pinching, sliding, and it's out. To put it back in the box, we have to put it back onto the primary mount that is used in the K21s and in the Puhach. So I get that mount back out, put on the lens cover, and I unscrew the long bolt. There's two bolts in the 505 mount, a short bolt and a long bolt. I unscrew the long bolt. I put the 505 mount back in the box and I remount it on the normal mount. The normal mount, you can see, has this curve in it. It approaches the camera from the rear and the underside, latches on, then is secured in place with the long bolt. Now the camera is ready to be put back in the box by sliding it into the mount in the box. Lens cover is already on, so I close and lock the box. And now today we're going to try and attach to the K21. Again in the box we have several different kinds of mounts. We've got the mount that holds it in the box. We've got the mount up here for the 505 and to remove the 505 mount I pinch it there and slide it out. This is the mount that we are going to use in the back of the K21 and we'll be using other mounts in the front. So I'll show you the back of the K21 first. That mount slides in place and locks in place in the rear of the K21. And now I unscrew the camera from the mount in the box. And remove the camera so that the camera can be mounted in place with the tongues in the forks and now bolted in place. Once I have the camera vertical and pointed at the intro, I can tighten and tighten the two bolts. There it is installed in the rear of the K21. And of course, to remove it, I again pinch on the two sides here, pinch, slide.
slide out. And now I can take it off of this mount by undoing the bolt. And again, this angle bolt is used for the 505 and the back of the K21. And it lives inside the box here. And I pull out the clip. This clip gets the camera attached and screwed into place. Camera up, and this clip is going to grab on to the glare shield right there. And now I can loosen this bolt, point the camera straight back at the passenger, tighten the bolt into place. And with the canopy closed, we can see it's pointing straight at the passenger. And now I'll show you how to change the batteries in the GoPro camera. We have two batteries inside of the box, in the charger inside of the box. Those are our two spare batteries, and we have the battery door on the back of the camera. There's a small hinge, or latch, it's a latch that I'm pulling towards me that unlocks the back door of the camera, and the back door of the camera lifts off. The tape around the battery is how I can pull the battery out of the camera and pull out the battery I'm going to replace it with. We have the contacts on the battery that are going to align with the contacts inside of the camera. So I lay the battery in the camera, press it into place, and close up the door, making sure the door is latched and flush with the back of the camera. Now I look at the contacts on the battery I just removed, and I align those with the contacts in the battery charger to put it in on charge. Now that the two batteries are in on charge, I can close up the box, lock it, and we're done changing the battery in the camera. Now that we've done our recordings for the day, we have to return this back to the clubhouse and put it back on charge for the night. First thing we do before we go to the clubhouse is a quick inventory to make sure we have everything in the box. Inside the box, we are expecting to find the GoPro camera itself with the lens cover on. We're expecting to find the mount for the 505, two batteries in the battery charger. Now we close it up and take it back to the clubhouse. So now that we've got back to the clubhouse with the box, it's time to put the box back on charge. We've got the USB cable on the side attached by Velcro. We plug the Velcro, sorry, the USB cable into the charger. And now we open up the box and make sure that the two batteries are charging. We've got two batteries in the cradle. We have a green light for power and one and two, confirming that those batteries are charging. Of course, if you did a lot of flying today and the battery in the camera is starting to die, then take the battery out of the camera put that battery onto the charge, and put one of the charged batteries into the camera for the night. Close it up, and we tuck the box away for the night. Can I see? Oh, it's making me look so fat. <laughs> oh my god, that got recorded, Rob. It got recorded. I'm gonna put that in. <laughs> <laughs>